Hello, friends. Oh, no. Oh, God. Please hold. There we go. <laughs> Hello, friends. <laughs> yes, I totally went to the wrong scene. Hello, Lex, Luke, Jelly Stars, Sophia. <laughs> I'm seeing my screen now. Oh my god, that's so funny. Uh, apologies for that, everyone. Um, hopefully you can hear me. Let me know if everything looks good, sounds good. Hello, hello, happy... What's today? Thursday? Happy Thursday, y'all. We're here. We're live streaming a board game on YouTube. This is the first time that I'm doing this. Um, I typically live stream over on Twitch, but I figured I might as well start doing a little bit of <laughs> two hands only. <laughs> what? <laughs> hello, hello. Um, what was I saying before I got distracted by chat? Um, yeah, I decided that why not do some solo live streams over here on YouTube, do some playthroughs because so far I've only done like talking live streams here on YouTube. So yes, hi, we're gonna be playing. Um, maybe a little quiet. Why does this keep on doing this to me? Um, please hold. I'm gonna go check to see if I can figure this out. This was something that was happening over on Twitch as well. For some reason our mic doesn't like to work for us sometimes. Let me know if that's better. Um, I actually think it might still be pretty quiet. How about that? Is that good? I think we're a little bit louder now. Let me know, Jelly Stars, if that's better. I could also bring the mic closer to me. Is that good? <laughs> Better? <laughs> I think we're good now. I need to remind myself to not move the mic when <laughs> I'm streaming because it always ends up like unplugging it. Happy Tuesday. Enjoyed watching you play Camel Up with Jeff and Jamie on Saturday. Oh my goodness. S. Uh, Pasley, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Thank you so much for joining. It was a lot of fun. Freaking love Jeff and Jamie. It was honestly such a fun stream. Oh shoot, I missed Camel Up. Yes, yes, we did it on Saturday. Um, I believe Jeff and Jamie have it up on their second YouTube channel. They just recently made a YouTube channel where they put all of their Twitch live streams on after the stream happens. So I believe it's called Foster the Meeple Rewind. Um, so yes. Definitely go check it out. Um, it was very fun. It was a good time. But anyways, um, you guys might hear Francis coughing upstairs a little bit throughout the stream because he is sick. And thankfully I have not gotten sick at all, which is awesome. Um, I'm surprised I haven't. It's fine, let's go. Le Marco, hello, welcome. Much better, okay, perfect. Um, but anyways, today we are going to be playing Agueda City of Umbrellas. So this is one of three different games up on Kickstarter um, that 25th Century Games has put out. Um, this is not like a sponsored stream or anything. I'm not getting paid to do this. I'm not doing this for them in a way. I'm doing it more for me because I really have been enjoying playing Agueda Cities of, City of Umbrellas solo. So. Um, I'm just like, you know what, I'm going to play this on stream because I think it's fun. And if you guys watch this and say, hey, I think I also would enjoy that, then, you know, helping you out. So this is the board. You have the main board and then you also have your player board that is two pieces. One is your sidewalks and then the other is 
the walls where you were putting up a mural. Um, do, do, do. It's available to watch on their Twitch and YouTube channel. Yes, definitely go and check out um, the Fox the Meeple Rewind channel. Um, I recently made a similar YouTube channel where I put up all of our live streams from Twitch. It's called The Board Game Garden TV. Also go and check out that. Um, bang a ring. Thanks for the heads up. Oh, <laughs> trail. Um, oh no, feel better, Francis. Oh, I'm sure he appreciates that. All right, so let me quickly teach you guys how to play this. If we get through this and the stream is not too long, um, I think I am going to also play maybe a round of Cascadia. Um, if you guys do not know, over on my Discord channel and on the YouTube channel, I just announced on the most recent video that I'm starting to do a like solo challenge for um, the Board Game Garden community where basically my patrons vote on a certain solo game that we focus on and play for the entire month. So Cascadia is the game for March and we're just gonna play that as many times as you want throughout the month. And there is a channel over on Discord called the TBGG Solo Challenge um, where everyone's been chatting about playing Cascadia and what scenarios they're working on and their scores and different things like that. It's been a lot of fun. Um, so yes, I backed all three in the Kickstarter after watching your videos covering them. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much for watching those. I really appreciate it. I had the time of my life filming those. I always have a lot of fun filming those like Kickstarter previews. I love doing the like cinematic shots of the board game and stuff and doing the voiceover and kind of like putting a theme to the video and like picking the song and all those things. I really, really enjoy that part of it. So yes, thank you so much for watching those and for deciding to back it. I'm sure 25th Century Games really appreciates it. And also there's two other games in the Kickstarter. There's Color Field um, and Donut Shop and all three of them are just great like puzzle games and I really enjoy puzzle games. So yes, anyways, without further ado, let's get into this game. I'm going to put my hair up so I'm not fiddling with my hair the whole time. Also, my my bangs are a little PC today. I'm sure you guys don't care, but I do. Okay, so we are going to be playing the solo variant of Agueda. And basically with this, all the AI is doing, which if you guys know me, then you know I'm going to be calling the AI Edith. It's become a thing. All AIs are Edith now. So we are going to be playing against Edith, the tour guide. She's a tour guide in this game. And basically after I do my turn, we are going to be flipping over one of Edith's card um, cards and then that's gonna tell us what umbrellas to take for Edith. And she's just going to be making a pile of umbrellas over here. And then at the end of the game, she is going to score. Um, I think I'm just gonna do, I don't know if I wanna do beginner. I've already played this a few times solo, so I'm pretty confident that I should be decent at it. So maybe we'll go for standard, which means she starts off with 10 points, and then she also gets additional points for the largest group of a single color. So at the end of the game, we will be counting up whatever umbrella color she has the most of, she'll score one point for each of them. So for example, if she had the most yellow umbrellas and she had 10 of them, then she would gain 10 points plus her starting 10 points so she would have 20 points at the end of the game so yeah i think i i think i should be good um i think we're gonna go with standard and we're gonna get started i start with two coins and i think that's everything let me catch up on chat um ooh, this looks intriguing it is a very fun puzzle game um i'm just obsessed with these types of like puzzle games where you're placing things in specific spots in order to get points in different ways. Um, it's just a lot of fun. Um, perfect chill stream for my flu. Oh no. Um, Karuner? Karuner? I'm so sorry that you have the flu. I hope you feel better and I'm hoping that this stream brings you happiness and joy and comfort and yeah, having the flu is no fun at all. 
I found a very cute card game on GameFound. Also tempted because the shipping fulfillment is being done now, so I'd get it decently quickly. Props. Ooh, what is it called, Jelly Stars? Let me know. I ordered both Resident Evil 3 and Alien, the board game from Amazon yesterday. They should arrive tomorrow. Can't wait. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't know they made board games for Resident Evil. They seem to be making a lot of board games these days based off of video games. <laughs> I'll buy the popcorn. Hello. Good morning. How's it going? Yeah, which one, Jelly Stars? Let me know this card game you speak of. All right. Let's get started. So on the start of my turn, it's always me first. And then once I'm finished my turn, then the AI will do their turn. So I am going to decide which umbrellas I want to take. Um, if I take a, you're going to be taking one full row. So if you take a row that has just one umbrella, you gain one coin. If you take a row that has two umbrellas, you don't have to give or take a coin. But if you take a row with three umbrellas, that means that you have to um, then t give one coin. And I do start with two coins. So I don't know what my best option is here. And I am trying to get some of these similar colors into rows. And whenever I cover up one of these paintbrushes, that allows me to flip over that coordinating umbrella color. So. Hmm. I think I might, I'm gonna pay one coin and I'm actually gonna take this three here. So I'm gonna take a yellow, a green, and a red. And when I take these umbrellas, I have to put all three of them into the same street. So I am gonna put green or yellow, green, and then I'm gonna put a red here. Is that what I wanna do? Sure, yeah. So we're gonna do that. Um, so that means I did cover up this paintbrush here, so I get to flip over the red. And that is going to be the starting of my mural. Um, it's called Varmints? Hmm, interesting. I need to look that up. I just recently backed, um, there's a print and play called Chateau, which is a like polyomino roll and write or roll and draw, I guess. Um, it's very fun. Also, I think someone just, just followed over on Twitch. I think <laughs> I heard something over on my computer. Um, but yeah, let me know if you're in chat and you also backed Chateau because I'm very excited. It's, it's from Rhino, Rhino something games. Um, and it seems very fun. I'm excited about that one. Um, all right, so now, because we have put these three in here, I can decide to place one of my meeples um, from up here. I have three available to me. Um, I will say that this is a prototype. So all of the meeples are going to look like this guy here. Let me see if I can get it to focus. There we go. So all of the meeples are going to look like this, um, but they only had one of each color of meeples. So for the prototypes, they did add in some basic meeples as well. So um, just know that if you do back the Kickstarter, um, some of these things are going to change. Um, there also is not a yellow wooden umbrella. There are one of each of the other ones in like a wooden meeple form, um, but it didn't come with a yellow one. So we're just using one of the umbrella pieces for that there. Um, I should also mention the three shops here. These are going to be um, the three shops that I'm going to uh, calculate or get points for at the end of the game. So we have Isabel's ice cream shop, which means I score one point for each column that has at least one umbrella of either of these colors. So as of this point, I do already have one, two points because these two columns here have both a green and a red or one of each of those. So each column has to have, you know, I'm gonna try to have each column have a green or a red. Um, this one here is the Bold, Bold Brew Cafe. 
Um, honestly, I just picked this one because I love coffee. Uh, but there's a bunch of different shop cards that you can choose from. But this one um, is score two points for each row that has at least two umbrellas in this color. So I'm gonna try to have two blue umbrellas in each of these um, streets, these rows. So yes, and then the other ones, these are just the other three. These all, these different colors, so purple, orange, and yellow, I'm gonna get half a point for each of those umbrellas in my entire sheet. Um, you seem to love roll and write slash draws. They always stress me out because I worry about the day I run out of pages. <laughs> well, trail, a little um, tip is buy a cheap laminator off of Amazon. So I back, I think like last year, I purchased a laminator from Amazon. It's just an Amazon basic laminator. And then I purchased some laminating sheets and I actually try to, or I'm going to try to, laminate one of every single roll and write that I have. So I have one sheet that I can just use dry erase markers on and it will never run out. So definitely recommend uh, trying to grab a laminator. I think my laminator was maybe like 30 something dollars. So it was definitely worth it to purchase a laminator so that you can laminate your roll and writes. Um, it also helps with, if you purchase print and plays, you can laminate those as well. Hi Lucho, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Chateau has four hours remaining on Kickstarter, Rolling Rhino Games. Yes, go and check out Chateau guys. I'm very excited for it. Basically everyone has an asymmetric building that they are trying to fill in. It's like a, like a grid kind of based building, I guess. And you're rolling dice and each of the dice numbers represent a different polyomino shape and you're trying to fill in your entire building um, there's some like additional things that you can do to kind of help you fill in your building. Everyone has a different shaped building. There are a ton of different buildings at this point. And yes, definitely recommend going and checking it out. Um, it, I'm freaking stoked for it. You have no idea. And then I'm going to laminate all of them and it's going to be great. And I think eventually we might do that as our solo challenge for the Board Game Garden solo challenge. Hello, Babel. Welcome to the stream. That was a good idea. Yeah, Trail, definitely do that. Invest in a little laminator and all of the stress will be taken away. Um, okay, what was I doing? I was deciding if I want to place a meeple or not. So right now what I can do is I can either place one meeple or I can place two meeples. If I decide to place two meeples, I would get to score victory points based off of the amount of both umbrella colors. So if I placed two meeples here, I would be able to get points based off of both yellow and green. So I would be able to get two victory points. But if I decided to just place one meeple, I would have to choose whether I want to score for the yellows or if I want to score for the greens. Um, I think I might, I don't know if placing two is a great idea right now. It might be a little bit too early for that. So I think I'm going to place one meeple and I'm going to score, it doesn't really matter. I'll score for either yellow or green. So I'm just gonna get one victory point because I have one of each of them. Um, and I'll say I'm just scoring for yellows, we'll say. Um, do you have a laminator? I do. Never mind, you answered it as I sent it. <laughs> yeah, so the laminator that I got was just the Amazon Basic laminator. It's great. It's worked fine for the past few years. Uh, my own personal laminator. Where was that idea my entire life? <laughs> Mario. Hello, Mario. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, guys, get a laminator, everyone. Then you can laminate all of your roll and writes and have them forever and not waste paper. It's great. Okay, so it is now the AI's turn. It is Edith's turn, and she is going to discard all of the color with the most umbrellas from the market. If tied, choose one. So she is going to take all of the yellows, which isn't horrible. There's only two yellows, so that's fine. And then we're going to refill the market 
You always refill from the top to the bottom, going from left to right. So that goes there. This goes here. Next goes here. And then two more at the bottom. Holy manoli. All right, so it is back to me. And I think I wanna try to get something that has orange and red orange and red Ooh, i'm gonna run out of money real quick but i i really want a specific row for a very specific reason okay so i'm gonna spend one coin and i'm gonna get this row here of this green orange and red and i'm gonna place oh no I guess that wasn't the best idea. Oh no. Score one point for each column that has at least one. Okay, so yes, I do wanna do this. The reason why I took these three is because I want this column to have either a green or a red. So I'm gonna place this one here. I'm gonna place the orange one over top of this paintbrush. That allows me to then flip over this orange tile. And when I do flip over two beside each other, I am allowed to take this guy here and it adds to my suitcases, which is awesome. So then once I get these two and then these two, I'll be able to get some more there. So then I'm also going to put this red here. Boom. All right. So now what do I want to do? Do I want to, hmm. I still do have three meeples. I think I'm gonna take two. I'm gonna place them here and I'm gonna get two victory points um, for both of the umbrellas. So I have one orange and one red, so I get to score for both of those. And we're going to flip over another AI card. Um, hey Jenna, thank you for your beautiful videos. Aw, Game Court, thank you so much. That has made my day. I appreciate you commenting that. <laughs> that makes me very happy. Uh, welcome to the stream, by the way. How's it going? How's your Thursday? I'm not a big fan of meeples, but those little cameras <laughs> around their necks uh, are totes adorbs. <laughs> totes adorbs. <laughs> I do agree, they are very cute meeples. They kind of remind me of the meeples from, uh, what is it, Santa Monica? Hello, Baptor, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Baptor from Discord, AKA Brandon. <laughs> I'm a, uh, reading, I get notifications on my iPad for Facebook Messenger as, and Francis is uh, messaging his parents. And I think we're ordering pizza tonight, which makes me very excited. His parents are coming over to meet our new puppy, Walt, which is fun. And we're gonna play some board games as well. Are the umbrellas flat tokens? Either way, they're cute. Yes, the umbrellas are very, very cool pieces. Basically, they're like, you can hear, they're like acrylic tiles, but they have like a flat bottom. Hello? There we go. So they have a flat bottom, and then they're just like these cute little umbrella tokens. I love them so much. And I do believe that it is colorblind friendly because each of the different colored umbrellas have a different pattern on the top of them so that's really nice all right so what was i doing i gained points for these two and i think i'm good to flip over the ais um, from the umbrellas in the market discard all of the color with the least umbrellas if tied choose one ai scores one point per discarded umbrella oh shoot um Okay, so the AI actually got two victory points for this one. AI scores one point per discarded umbrella. So she's at two, 
And then she is going to either take orange or green because there's one of each of them. So I'm gonna discard the green and the AI gains one victory point for that. I was gonna say the AI is going to be very easy to beat, but I forgot that you, for each of the cards, there's also points that she's gonna get. Um. Do, 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 do. Hi there, I'm working. This is fun to help me get through the day. Aw, EMC, that's awesome. Uh, thank you so much for joining. And I'm glad that I can entertain you throughout the day um, while you work. Okay, so that is everything for the AI. We are currently tied. We're going to, oh my goodness, lots of oranges, everyone. And, oh, some yellows as well. Okay, let's see. What can we do here? So I do need to try to get some blues into some of these rows, but unfortunately, I don't, <laughs> I don't have any blues at all. Um, things are good, I'm just at work, listening and getting stuff done, nice. Ooh, I was wondering about that. I know a couple colorblind people, so good to know um, if I'm back. Yes, so. All of the different um, icons for all of the umbrellas everywhere here is um, colorblind friendly because they all have the same uh, little icons on the top for each individual color. All right, so unfortunately I cannot take a set of three because I don't have any coins. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I would ultimately love to get a purple because I will say at the end of this turn, I have to place this guy here. Um, I could also choose to rest. So if you don't want to place any of your meeples here, you can choose to rest. That will allow you to take all the meeples off and then you actually move these tiles around. I will show you guys that in a second but it makes it so that you're scoring for different colored umbrellas for different streets um, all the time. It's always changing. Okay. Do I wanna do maybe a purple and a yellow? Maybe. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do a purple and a yellow. This is from a two row, so I don't have to pay anything. I also don't get any money, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, but now I need to decide if I want to place, if I place the purple here, that gets me a flip of this purple here. Um, but if I do place the yellow here, I get to flip the yellow. Hmm. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, I'll do the purple here. So I covered up one of the paintbrushes with purple. So I'm gonna flip this over. And then, like I said, I can decide if I want to place this last meeple. If I place it here, then I can score for either blue or purple. Obviously I'm gonna score for purple. I'm falling behind everyone, I'm falling behind. I think I am gonna do that. I'm gonna score for purple. I might as well um, and get one victory point for that. And then on my next turn, I can rest and get all of my meeple, meeples back. All right, that is everything from that turn. Hi Reggie, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Everyone go and check out Rolling Reggie's YouTube channel. He just recently started making YouTube videos. He's a wonderful, wonderful human and we've been playing some games on BGA as well. Um, yeah, go and check out his content. I was so intrigued when you mentioned this game. It visually, it really reminds me of Maui. Ooh, no way. Oh yeah, I guess Maui 
Maui is with the towels, right? I think, I think I've seen that one. And I'm assuming it's kind of based off of like a color puzzle as well. Oh, there's also um, umbrellas. Oh, that's so fun. I was thinking the same. It does remind me a little bit of Maui umbrellas instead of towels. Yeah. I didn't know there were umbrellas in Maui as well. That's so cute. Hi friends. Hello, let's dive in. I didn't know your name was Danica. Hello, Danica. Welcome to the stream. Let's dive in as always in my chats in Twitch. Um, but I'm so happy to have you over here on YouTube. How's it going? We don't have to talk about you beating me in every game we've played versus each other. I have not, have I? I'm usually not that good at games, Reggie. I'm not, I'm really bad. Francis pretty much beats me constantly, so. It's giving me a little bit of a, an ego boost. A little bit of a confidence boost, I guess. <laughs> I'm always losing, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so it is now the AI's turn, um, which by the way, we are going to be playing this game until the AI has run out of cards. So I believe that means that we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten turns. So we have eight turns to go. So next up, ooh, okay, good. From the umbrellas in the market, discard all of the colored, all of the color with the least umbrellas. If tied, choose one. AI scores one point per discarded umbrella. So there's one yellow and there's one purple. Which do we want to? discard. I say we discard. Mm, no. I need to pay attention to how many of each color the AI has here. So I actually want to try not to discard this yellow because if yellow ends up being the color that they have most of, they're going to get points for that. So I think it's actually best for me to discard the purple. You see that? You see that strategy there, guys? She's a she's a board game whiz. <laughs> she's not. <laughs> I just got back from a successful interview. I'm very excited today. Danica, congratulations. That makes me so happy that you had a good interview. Yay. Thoughts on the Edith in this game so far? <laughs> I love how this is becoming a thing. We need to make this a thing, guys. All AIs are Edith, all right? Edith is now a tour guide, and she she's honestly being very nice to me today. Edith is being very kind, which she is normally not kind. Edith is kind of a bee, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but I guess she's she's working right now, so she can't really be too mean to me. You know, she's working her tour guide job. She... She's not allowed to be mean to the customers. <laughs> so she's being nice. She's being very nice. I've so far only had to discard four umbrellas for the AI, which is good. It's nice to, on each of the turns, which by the way, the AI does score one victory point for that umbrella. Um, but it's nice to, on a AI's turn, they only get one victory point. That's kind of like what I'm hoping for most of this game, because then I'll be able to get ahead of the AI for the most part. I didn't know you streamed on YouTube. Why no Twitch today? Um, David, I typically don't stream on Twitch. The only, oh, poor Francis. The only days that I typically stream on Twitch are Tuesdays and Sundays, and I'm still sticking to those. Do not worry, we still have a stream on Sunday this week on Twitch. Um, this is just an additional one. I, I kind of want to try to stream on both of the platforms and give you guys more live streams. I really enjoy live streaming and chatting with you guys. So um, I decided every once in a while I might do a stream during the day on Thursdays. That might be what I start to do. Um, they will always be solo streams because obviously Francis is currently working right now. Um, so yes, this is just an additional one. All right, so the AI has taken her turn. Edith is done. And we now refresh the market. 
Give me some blue umbrellas, please. Oh, thank you. Jeez. Blue, blue, blue. Red. We don't need red. Um. Thanks, everyone. I'm happy to have a job again, and also happy to have more funds for this board game hobby. So many games I need to own. Dude, it's quite the hobby we are in. It's pretty awesome. Um, is Edith the next Barbie? <laughs> she's the one working all the jobs now. <laughs> in every game, she's something different. I want an Edith. I, I would love an Edith. A nice little Edith doll doing all the things. Love that. Love that for her. <laughs> did you create your own background, by the way? The white and black florals? Just curious. Um, I did not create it. Like, I didn't draw it myself, but I did, like, do the Photoshop of everything. So, if that's what you mean, yes. But if you meant drawing it, heck no. I did not draw it. I am not that talented. <laughs> More Jenna Stream sounds good. Yeah, I figured it would be fun. Might as well. Hi, board gaming crew. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? All right, it is now my turn again. Um, all right. We need to work on getting some blue in some rows and columns and stuff. Okay. I would really love that blue, so I think I'm just gonna do that. I think I'm gonna grab this blue and this red here. Again, I don't gain a coin. I don't have to spend a coin because it is in the two column. And I'm not going to be scoring for this. So I don't need to worry about putting the blue in here. Um, ultimately, I would, ooh, I would love to cover up a blue. The only thing, dang it. I will say that when you do change these up, this blue and purple one is gonna go up to the top and then these two are gonna slide down. So if I wanna put the blue in here, I would do that. But then I'm not covering up one of the paintbrushes, which makes me a little sad. But that still means that I get a blue there in that row. Hmm. I could do it here. That would cover up this blue and I could flip over this one. I would get another meeple. Or I could do here. No. I think I might do that. Is that a good idea? I don't know. Sure, we'll do that. I'm gonna put this red in this blue, covering up a paintbrush with this blue so I do get to flip over this tile here. I will say at the end of the game, you do score points based off of how many of the mural tiles you have flipped. So, so far, because we have four of the tiles flipped, I get, I get two victory points, but if I can get five flipped, I have four victory points, and if I can get six flipped, I get six victory points. So, yes. Now that I have these two flipped, I do gain this meeple. That goes there. And then I have to decide if I want to... I can't. I cannot do that. So if you have meeples on all of these spaces, you have to take a rest action, which means you take all of your meeples back, they go on to the suitcases here. And then, like I said, these get switched around. So this one goes up to the top. These two get pushed down. And this goes here. Oh boy. Okay. And then the AI, oh, they're gonna go ahead of us. Oh, that makes me so sad because we didn't get to score any points this round. So we get to flip. Oh no. 
Oh no! Shoot! Oh, that sucks. Okay, so we have to discard all of either orange or yellow from the market, whichever has the most. Which, that's the one thing. That's the kicker. If it was just either or, like we got to pick, then obviously I would pick yellow because there's only one. But because it's the most, we have to discard three of the oranges. Oh, dang it. And then the AI scores one victory point per discarded. So they get one, two, three victory points. That really sucks. All right. Edith, the obnoxious evil sister that messes up with your cat plans. <laughs> Explore and draw. Literally. She messes up all plans in any game. Let's be honest. Oh, I was just about to say, I need to make an Edith Meeple plushie. I vote Meeple. <laughs> Can we do that? Can we make a Meeple Edith plushie? Or t-shirts that say, I hate Edith. <laughs> I'm going to feel bad for any person that's actually named Edith. <laughs> it's like the Karen thing all over again. I always feel so bad for people with the name Karen. Um, I was watching this the other day um, on another stream and 25th Century chimed in to say that all of the art you are uncovering is a real mural art from the festival over the past few years. No way! That's amazing. I really love that. Yeah, there's like a ton of beautiful art in this game. There's this mural. Um, each of the different player colors have a different mural. Um, this one is the one that we are currently doing. Um, I don't know if they have any other ones in the rule book. But yeah, all of the murals are absolutely stunning. Oh, here we go. Here's some more. Here's a few of the other murals. Beautiful. I'm like obsessed with the art in this game. All right. Let's get on to the next turn. Fill in. Ooh, we got, oh, no, I'm not even going to be able to get that because I don't have any coins. Come on, give me a blue, please. No, I don't want the blue there. Give me a blue. Come on, blue. Yes, thank you. Woohoo. All right, so I think it's only I think it's the best decision for me. Ooh. I either take this single blue so I can get a coin. That way on a next turn, I'll be able to possibly take three, which would be good. Or I take a blue and a purple, which I don't really think I need any purples for the most part. I think, I think I'm gonna take just the single blue. That allows me to get one coin and I'm going to place this single blue here or I could place it here. I don't think I want to place it there. I'm going to place the blue here. Like that. And then I can score some points. So I could either take two or I could take one. I don't think there's any that I can actually score more than one. Um, this one I can't score anything as of right now because um, I have no reds or oranges in this one. This I could score one for this one and this I could score one blue. So as of right now, it's not looking too great for me, but I think I am going to place this ooh, here. I'm just gonna place one here and I'm gonna get one victory point for the green. Oh, this game is not looking good for me, guys. Um, I am a sucker for vibrant, beautiful art. Yeah, me too, Reggie, me too. Uh-oh, it's snowing here now. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, we've actually had some really nice weather recently here in Canada. Um, it's been very sunny. The dogs are loving it. Um, and it's been warmer 
It's been a little bit chilly at night when we go for walks, but it's fine. At least it's not raining or snowing or doing crazy weather things like it was a few weeks ago. Actually, not even a few weeks ago, at the end of last week. All right, so it is now the AI's turn. We are going to flip over this right here. Oh gosh. Discard all green or blue from the market. Whichever has the most. It's so funny because Penny was never a barker. And then the moment that we've gotten Walt, they now feed off of each other. So if Walt barks, then Penny will bark. And then if Penny barks, Walt will bark. So that's what you guys are hearing right now. All of the craziness going on upstairs. Um, so yes, we are going to be discarding both of these blues, which is a little bit unfortunate. And that means that the AI is going to get two points. This is hard. This is a hard game. I will say, though, that the AI is not going to be scoring for these points here. And the AI will also not get any points for... Um, mural tiles being flipped obviously um, so just at the end of the game they will have whatever points they've gotten from the cards and then they're going to count up whatever umbrella has the most so as of right now it's orange with three so they would get three victory points so if they are ahead I feel like if I do well on these objective cards as well as flipping these tiles I think I should be good fingers crossed all right. No, the blue, I know. Literally what we were waiting for. I will say though that I only need one more blue. I just really want to get at least one blue in each row. So we just need one blue in this row and then we'll be fine. Um, Cause it's scored two points for each row that has at least, oh, shoot, has at least two umbrellas. Oh, no. Absolutely not. Oh no. I need so many more umbrellas. This is not good. Oh, I'm not an Ajax. The shoveling this weekend was rough. Oh my gosh, yeah. Um, when I got home on, I think it was Saturday of this past weekend, holy the snow. It was intense. We were in, or I was in Niagara Falls with friends. And Niagara Falls didn't get much. They got more like of a, a slushy snow. But here in our hometown, I came back to like feet and feet and feet of snow and it was insane. Ugh. Yeah, this last week was weird. The snow slash thunderstorm. Yeah, that was very odd. Oh my goodness, the dogs. Mainly Walt. We got a blue, guys. Come on, blue, not, not blue. We got a green, which is okay, I guess. We'll deal with it. All right, so I think I'm gonna pay a coin and I'm gonna grab blue, yellow, and purple, okay? And I'm gonna do blue here. So we now have two in this row. So I score two victory points for that. I'm going to do yellow next to cover up this paintbrush. And then I'll do purple on the last spot. So that means that I covered up a paintbrush with yellow. That means I can flip over the yellow tile on my mural. Boom. The mural is almost done. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. And I think I'm gonna use two of my tourists and I'm gonna place them here. So then I can score for, ah, I can score for my blues and my purples. So I will get three victory points. One, two, three. We are keeping up to Miss Edith. We are keeping up. Yeah, the thunder snow was something else. It was pretty crazy because my friends and I were staying in a hotel and we were on like the 25th floor. So we saw like the snow slash slush that was in Niagara Falls, but then there was also like lightning and stuff. It was crazy. I've never seen thunder and lightning or I've never heard thunder and seen lightning in the winter. It was interesting. 
I must brave the snowstorm to get groceries. Back soon. Good luck. Thank you so much for joining, Kruner. I'm sorry for butchering your name. Um, but thank you so much for joining. And uh, drive safe in that snowstorm. And have fun getting groceries. They closed Yosemite National Park because it had at least 15 feet of snow. Oh my gosh. Is Edith actually the AI's name? Edith is everywhere. <laughs> it's not actually. I think the AI in this game is just the tour guide. Um, but here at the Board Game Garden, we have decided that every AI is Edith now, okay? End, end of discussion. Every single AI is Edith. All right, so we're going to flip over the next tour guide card. Ugh, are you kidding me? Discard all yellow or green uh, from the market, whichever has the most. The AI scores, so we are going to discard both of the green umbrellas. The AI is gonna score one, two. All right, and then we're going to refill the market. And of course, we have no more money, so I'm only gonna be able to take either a two column or a one column. We're not looking too good for blues, but we will see. Come on, please. Oh, we got a green. Okay. All right. Not great, but okay. Um, ugh. I think Ew. This is gross. I don't I don't like this at all. I I need this paintbrush here to be covered up by a green. But I can't get this green and place it here because I need the green to be with another one. But the only way I can get that green is if I pay one coin or just have the green on its own. I might just have to grab this green. It will get me a victory point. I will say that. If I take these two reds, that will allow me, ugh, ugh. This is gross, I don't like this at all. So if I take these two reds and place them here in order to score for this, I have to cover up this with a red, but I don't want it. Okay, I think I'm gonna grab this green. I'm gonna place it here. That doesn't cover up anything, but it does put a green in this column, so I'll get a victory point for that. Um, and I also do get a coin for that, so that's at least good. And we'll just hope that we get another green for down here, I guess. All right, so the AI is now going to, oh, no, no, no. I need to make sure I'm pretty sure I can take a break at any time. Um, I don't have to fill in all three spaces. Let me quickly check that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you may choose to take a break option to shift your tourist tiles, even if you do not have any tourists placed. So yes, I can take a break at any time. And I think I am going to do that. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna put all of my tourists back. This is going to be taken off. This will be moved down. This will be moved down, and then this will be placed up here. Like so. All right. And then we're gonna flip over the AI's card. Oh God. <laughs> Discard all of red or orange from the market, whichever has the most, and the AI scores one point per umbrella. So they're going to get all of the red. It's actually pretty good. They kind of have a pretty equal amount of each umbrella. So at this moment, they are only going to get three victory points 
for whichever one has the most because I have or they have three reds, three oranges, and three greens. So those are all tied, which is kind of good. But they do get three victory points. So one, two, three. Let's refill the market. God, please give me green, please. No, well, I guess blue's kind of nice. Please, green. No, are you kidding me? All right, well, this is a little bit unfortunate. I think I might actually just grab this blue. That allows me to gain a coin. And then I'm gonna place this blue at the end here because that actually gets me two victory points. Because I get two points for each row that has at least two umbrellas with this color. These chunky umbrella bits are so satisfying. Yeah, I know, right? Do you guys hear the, uh, ooh, the satisfying umbrella pieces? <laughs> they sound so good. All right, so that's good there. And then I think I am going to place one of my meeples, my tourists, right here. That will allow me to score for my blue umbrellas, so I get two victory points, one, two. And then the AI gets to go. Whoop. Discard all, oh my god, are you kidding me? Discard all blue or purple from the market, whichever has most, so it's going to be purple. So the AI is going to score another three victory points, one, two, three, and now purple is their biggest group of umbrellas. A little bit unfortunate. So they're gonna get four more victory points. Oopsie, don't look, don't look. They're gonna get four more victory points. We only have two more turns. So let's, let's pray we get some green here. As the Brothers Murph say, thicky, thicky, dumb chunk. Is that what they say? Oh my god. I didn't know they said that. Oh, there's the green we're looking for. Come on. An orange, okay. Ooh, another green. And an orange, okay. <laughs> Interesting is quite interesting. So I definitely want to grab three for sure. And I think I'm going to grab the yellow, the orange, and the green. So I'm going to pay one coin. I'm going to grab the green, the yellow, and the orange from this row. We're going to do, since this column, oh wait, no, that's fine. This column already has red, so I don't need any green or red for that column. So I'm gonna add the yellow here. I'm gonna add the green here because we need to flip over this last green tile. So I'm gonna add the green here over top of the paintbrush. That allows me to then flip this over. We have completed our mural perfectly. So that's gonna get me six victory points there. I also gain this additional meeple. And then I'm gonna place, oh wait, is that what I wanted to do? I guess that's what I have to do. I was thinking about putting the green here because then it'll put a green in this column, but it's fine. We don't need a green or a red in every single column. Um, we have a green, we have a green, we have a red, we have a red, we have a green. So it would be nice to get a green or a red in this column, we will see. What happens? Woo, yeah. Danica, I'm real pumped. We did great. We did good. All right, so now I am actually going to place two of my tourists down here. That allows me to score for both yellow and green, so I get one, two, three victory points. One, two, three. And then it is now the AI's turn. 
Oh, nice. We just got freaking lucky with this turn. Holy crap. So this is discard all, either purple or red. We literally have no purple, no, no purple, no purple or any red. So they don't get anything. Haha, -ha, Edith. Haha, -ha, no umbrellas for you, girly pants. All right. Last turn, everyone. Last turn. It's nice because I still have one coin. Um, I don't think coins get you any victory points at the end of the game. Uh, so that's... Oh, you know what I just realized, too? I'm going to be able to put two meeples here if I wanted, but literally the only umbrella that I can score in this top one is a single red. That's unfortunate. But usually you get negative one victory points for any empty spaces, but we're not gonna get any empty spaces, which is great. All I'm asking for is to get a green or a red in this last spot here. All right. Um, you should play Destinies one of these days. I feel like you'd like the journey and the story within it. EMC, I have been wanting to try Destinies. It looks fantastic. Um, so it's definitely one that I have had on my radar and I do think that we would really enjoy it. Only thing is, I think Destinies is a campaign game. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but we have so many campaign games that we need to start and get through. So I think it would, it would cause me some anxiety trying to add that one to the roster as well. Oh no. As of right now, I am not able to get a red or a green in here. This has to be a red or a green that I take out here in order for me to get what I want. Please, come on, come on, red or green. That's unfortunate. All right, so, hmm. I wonder, this has not happened to me yet, but I wonder if I could take three because I could get either this row or this row. Um, I wonder if I could just take three and then discard one of them. I don't think I've, I've had that issue as of yet. Place umbrellas. Okay, it says you must place each umbrella that you've selected. Any umbrellas you selected that do not fit in the row are discarded back into the bag. Amazing. Uh, Jenna, I want to thank you because you got my name right at the first try. It doesn't happen often, but it's nice when it does. Really? What do people call you? It's literally just Danica. Do people call you Donica? <laughs> the Yeah, I literally only see it as Danica. <laughs> Exclamation point old. We don't have any any commands in here. <laughs> Back to the rule book. Yeah, always. Just got a notice for Hamlet. Nice. Thank you, meeples. <laughs> Oh dang, no Nightbot commands here, no. Nightbot's on vacation when I'm here on YouTube. All right, so that means that I can indeed take one of these three rows, which is great. Um, so I'm gonna pay one coin and... Mm. Oh, the babies are barking outside. Uh, oh, they call me Donica, Donica, and Donica, and the worst is Darnica, Darnica, oh my goodness, some people, yeah, well, I'm glad I got your name right, that makes me happy, all right, that's so funny, I am going to grab, hmm, 
Let me see here. So I will say that we are going to get half a point for each of these. So it would be good for me to get So I definitely want a green, and then I, I would love the other one to be either a yellow or a purple. So that's fine. I'll just grab these three here. So for sure, the purple is going to go here. Or not the purple. The green's going to go here, and then I'm going to put the purple here. I guess it could have been the orange as well, but it does not matter anymore. This one gets discarded to the bag. Maybe I should have taken the yellow. Because then I have to think about, or like one of the oranges. Because I have to think about what one the AI is going to get. But I think I'm fine. I think we're fine. So we're going to flip this over. Oh wait, no. I get to place one of these. Which, like I said, the only thing I can do is I can place one of my tourists here and I'm going to gain one victory point for this single red umbrella. Um, we're going to flip this over. Discard all of the color with the most umbrellas from the market. Shoot, I should have taken the oranges. Dang it. I should have thought about that. So now, no, that's not good. The AI is taking three oranges. Ugh. I really should have thought about that more. So they're gonna get three victory points. And then at the end of the game, because they have the most orange umbrellas, they're going to gain another six victory points. We'll see how this works out. Um, but that is everything for the game. We now move on to some end scoring. Um, like I said, I think I'm just gonna go for the AIs here. Um, they, because we are on the standard, they get another 10. So she's gonna go up to 30. And then she is also going to get one victory point per color with the most umbrellas in the discarded umbrella pile. Like I said, she's gonna get six. So she, Edith is at 36. Oh no. And I'm at 14. All right. So we are going to score for everything here. I get negative one point for each empty spot. I have no empty spots, so we're good. We're going to score for each of the three objectives on the market board. So each of these three, so I'm gonna get one victory point for each column that has at least one umbrella in either of these colors, so green or red. So you have one victory point, two victory points, three, four, five, and six. So we're gonna go up to 20. Oh, God. And then we're going to get two victory points for each row that has at least two umbrellas of blue. So we got two, four. So we're at 24. Oh, I'm definitely not going to win. <laughs> this is going to be like so close. So then we also get half a point. Count all the umbrellas on your board that match any of these colors. Score points to half that amount rounded down. Shoot, I read that wrong. <laughs> I think I did that last time I played this. Oh no. I guess, yeah, that's still, they, they are counting as half a point, I think. Finally added Sleeping Gods. I'm excited to get started. We have sleeping gods over there, and I want to start it so bad. You have no idea. Yikes, that's a tough AI. Yeah, it is. I think I've only beaten her once, I think. And I've played this solo. I think this will be my third, fourth time, maybe? Well, this is standard. Imagine the higher ones. Yeah. So there's actually only three different modes. There's beginner, which she would start with five points. Um, I'm doing standard, she starts with 10. And then expert, she starts with 15. Or she gets 15. Um, okay, so now I'm counting up all of the yellow, purple, and orange. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine. Nine divided by two, four and a half, rounded down, four. One, two, three, four. Dang it, no! I think I lost. The only other thing that I have left to score is my flipped mural, which thankfully I did flip over all of them, so I do get six victory points. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, absolutely not. We beat, or we lost by two. The AI, Edith got 36 and we got 34. No. <laughs> Jenna, would that make a good stream? Play the first episode and get yourself started in it for your own personal play. For the rest, maybe. Dang, Edith too strong this game. <laughs> she is. She's good at collecting them umbrellas, let me tell you. Well, I think if I didn't make that stupid choice at the end, I guess I, I couldn't really know if this was gonna come up, but I could have realized that there was a lot of oranges here on the board. So then I should have said, maybe I should get rid of those oranges instead of getting rid of, I think I got rid of a, a purple, a yellow, and a green. I should have seen that there was a lot of oranges and that that could have possibly messed up um, or gotten her more umbrellas. So I should have really taken these ones, which was a green, a orange, and an orange. Let's see if, let's see if I did that, what would have changed. So I think it was something like this. I took these, this was up here, and then there was a yellow. So if I realized that it didn't really matter which colors I took, as long as the second one along with the green was either an orange or a purple or a yellow. So I should have seen that there was, oh no, it still would have been the same. I'm pretty sure, maybe not. If I took these three, if I took these three instead, and then my green went here, and then I just placed an orange here, it would have been the same score for me. This would have got discarded. She would have got most umbrellas, so then she would have taken yellow. One, two, three. She still would have gotten three victory points, but instead of getting six for the most umbrellas of orange, she would have gotten five. So she would have, she would have just been at 35. So she still would have beaten me. Um, but dang, dang choices really matter in games, don't they? It was a purple, orange, and green. Uh, you would have lost by one point either way. Yep, exactly. Um, enjoyed the gameplay. I was considering backing it and this might have just nudged me to do so. I'm so glad. I really wanted to show you guys how this one played solo because I know a lot of people in the board game garden community love playing solo and this is the only one of the three in this Kickstarter that play solo. It actually has a, um, a solo mode, like a solo variant. Um, and it comes with solo components and stuff, and I have really been enjoying it. It is a great puzzle. Um, it is absolutely beautiful, and the thought process behind your choices and stuff, you guys can see that like there's a lot of thought that goes behind your choices. Um, there are a ton of these different uh, shop cards. So you have a huge pile of these little shop cards. Each shop scores different ways and you're going to be choosing two per round or two per game. And then you're also going to be randomly choosing which colors go on them. So you would be randomly choosing the colors and then the three go here like that. And it's just, it's been a lot of fun. I've really been enjoying it. Um, I do think that you can put a third card over top of here. What, why am I burping? <laughs> Jenna, stop. No one needs to hear that. <laughs> but you can put a third card here to make it a little bit more challenging. Um, I believe. I'm not 100% sure if you're able to do that. But these two spots here are always going to be a random shop card. There's a bunch of different ones, like I said. 
Um, but yes, anyways, that is going to be everything. I just realized that I'm pretty sure I had them like this. But I should have put them like this, because this shop matches this shop, and then this shop matches that shop. Anyways. Anyways, friends. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Um, I was thinking about doing a round of Cascadia, but I do think that I have to finish off the stream. Um, Francis and I, or just me, we'll see, um, have to go take the dogs for a walk. And I also need to film a video today. So yes, I don't think I'm gonna get to Cascadia, but if you guys are not part of the Discord, um, the Discord I believe is, um, or I'll try to put it down in the, the description, or it's always in the about section of my YouTube channel. Um, I think I have fixed all the links. I've gotten a few messages of people trying to use my Discord link in like the video descriptions and in the about section of my YouTube channel and they weren't working, but I'm pretty sure I've changed all of them to a link that will never expire. So hopefully that is good. Um, seems like a great game for analysis paralysis though. Yes, I do agree. <laughs> Edith sure brought her A game. She did. She says, I'm making the best Agueda umbrella thing. I don't really know exactly what this is. I know it's, they have like a festival in Agueda where they cover up a pathway with umbrellas, like colorful umbrellas. And they also have like the murals and stuff. It's like a festival, I guess. All right, 25th Century Games said that the card slots do not need to correspond to the color of the board. Yeah, I, I know, but I just, I'm just that kind of person that likes to match them. Um, but you can do like, there's some colors of shops that are this like brown color and there's the red ones and the blue ones. And yeah, you don't really need to have them matching, but I like to have them matching. Um, take care all. Yes, everyone have a good rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining the stream. Uh, it was a fun one over here on YouTube. Um, definitely, like I said, or like I was talking about before, join the Discord if you guys want to join in on the Board Game Garden solo challenge. Everyone's been having an amazing time with Cascadia and it just makes me so happy. Everyone like posting their games and chatting about uh, their experiences so far. But yeah, I appreciate you all so, so much. Thank you for supporting the Board Game Garden um, and always being so wonderful. Love you guys so much. Have a good rest of your day. Have a good Thursday. Have a good rest of your week. It's already Friday tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys on Sunday. If you guys want to join over on Twitch, I will be streaming Earth from Inside Up Games solo. So if you guys want to see how that plays solo, definitely tune in. Very excited, I've been enjoying Earth. Um, I've been playing it over on BGA multiplayer, but I'm excited to jump into it solo. So yes, be sure to come out and hang with me on Sunday morning over on Twitch, and I will see you guys then. Bye friends. <laughs>